Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to find the area of a hexagonal prism. Okay, what's a hexagonal prism? A hexagonal prism is a prism which has two parallel bases and the base is described as a hexagon. So we've got six sides here and six sides here and they're parallel. Okay, so that's a hexagonal prism. Now, to find the area of this hexagonal prism, we've got to find the area of the two bases. So find the area of the base. One half AP is our formula to find the area of the base where A is apothem and P is perimeter. And then we're going to multiply that by two. Why are we multiplying by two? Because we have two of these, okay? So we're going to do that first and then we're going to go and add what we call the lateral area or these sides around here. And to get that, we're going to take the perimeter of the base times the height of the whole thing, the height of the um, prism, and we can find the surface area by adding those two together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at, at the hexagon as if it was laid out. So we basically are taking this and laying it flat on the ground so we can see it as a two-dimensional figure. Okay, so let's label the side as six. Okay, the height is 10, and that's really all we have so far. Now let's find the area of this hexagonal prism. Okay, I'm going to draw in some equilateral, um, yeah, equilateral triangles. And you can see that in a hexagon, you've got six equilateral triangles. So to find this apothem, which is from the center to the side, I'm going to use 30, 60, 90 triangles. Since the side is six, we know that this side is six. And then we know that this apothem has to be, well, that cuts this in half, so that becomes three and that becomes three. So this apothem is three square root three using the 30, 60, 90 rules. Okay, inside of this equilateral triangle, I draw the apothem. That makes that a 60 degree angle, which makes this the long leg. So I use the formula short leg times the square root of three to get the long leg. And that gives me my apothem. So I've got one half of my apothem, which is three square root three, times the perimeter. What's the perimeter of this base? Hmm, perimeter of the base. I have six equal sides and they're six each. So to find the perimeter, I just take six times six sides or 36. So that's my formula, one half a squared three squared root three times 36. So let's multiply that out, okay? Um, 0.5 times 3 times 36, that gives me 54, and I just stick the square root of 3 right next to it. Okay, and that gives me the area of one of my bases. But remember, I have two of these. So if this one's 54 square root 3, I know this one also has to be 54 square root 3. So that's the area of my bases. So let's go over here and go, okay, my base areas are 108 square root 3 because I just add 54 and 54. Now I'm going to add to it this rectangular shape which is in the three dimensions of the sides around here. Well the formula for doing that is just the perimeter times the height. Well my height is 10 and we just figured out the perimeter, right? If I took this and I wrapped this around, that's just the perimeter which we decided was 36. So that means our lateral area is 10 times 36 or 360 and we're going to add that to whoops it's no longer our base area it's our total area our total area would be the lateral area or the base areas 108 square root 3 plus the two uh, or plus our uh, lateral area which is 360 and that is how you write your answer because you can't combine uh, a number with a very with a radical with a whole number so you can leave it like this or you can convert it uh, into a decimal so let's convert that to a decimal I take 108 times square root oops wrong way to put it in this calculator let's do the square root of 3 first times 108 that gives me 187 so 100 square root 3 is 187 and then I'm going to add to it 360 so the decimal answer would be 547.06. And since this is area, I would say centimeters squared. And that is how you find the surface area of a hexagonal prism. Hope this video was helpful.